There are things that I hate about being a data analyst and I normally don't mention them, but today I'm gonna to talk about them. Now, I hope you guys know by now I absolutely love data analytics. You could say I have a passion for it, but there is definitely a part of this job that I absolutely hate. And I don't say hate super lightly. Some of these things I absolutely hate. And some of these things that I'm going to talk about today are more a very strong dislike. And so I'm going to kind of start with the ones that I just really dislike. And I'm going to go all the way to the ones I absolutely hate and I cannot stand. And let's not waste any time. Let's jump into it with number one. And this is one that I think a lot of people can understand. And that's why I'm starting off with this one. This one, again, I strongly dislike, which is the social interaction piece of being a data analyst. I love my coworkers. I really do. But the social interaction piece of it is something that really affects me personally, something that I personally strongly dislike is the category that I would put it in because I have a meter like I get filled up by being by myself. I recharge. Right. And then when I go into meetings and I spend six, seven hours in meetings during a day and I have to smile and laugh at people's jokes, I mean, it is exhausting. And my meter gets drained so quickly, like probably within the first like three or four hours. And then the last two or three hours, I just have to like push past and just like kind of put on a face because I'm supposed to be happy. But my goodness, uh, it, it is really genuinely tough to endure the social interaction sometimes. And some of you may not understand that my wife genuinely could be around people all day, every day, and she gets fueled by that. But me by nature, I am more of an introvert and being around people genuinely drains me. And unbeknownst to me, when I first started as a data analyst, they have to communicate a lot. And so I really had to learn how to get better at this. And I genuinely have gotten better at this. It used to drain my entire tank in like two hours talking to people genuinely. Now I'm up to like five. I can make it till five. And then after that, I'm like, guys, why are we still meeting? I was like, let's let's end this meeting. And I, I will start, I don't want to say get cranky, but I definitely start getting like frustrated or annoyed. And it's something that I genuinely, I don't think I'll ever like. I don't think that's ever something that I'm going to enjoy. And so again, that is something that I do not like or I strongly dislike about being a data analyst. Now, number two is one that I think some people actually be surprised by, uh, but it's how grinding the work can be, specifically around data cleaning. And I will be the first person to say I love cleaning data. I actually really do love it. But it reaches a point where I start to like absolutely hate it. And, and I, I reached that level after like a certain point. I can't really explain it, but I will spend a week, maybe two weeks even cleaning data. And it's interesting and you have to transform it and you have to you know create calculations. You have to clean it up and you have to do all these things. And it's really interesting. And then there will hit a point in that process where I am just over it. I, I, hate going back to database engineers, database developers, changing this, changing that. It it becomes so monotonous and it becomes so frustrating that I'm literally like, just keep it how it is. I don't even care. I'm done. I was like, we've done 95% of the work. I don't want to do the last five. Like I, I'm truly done cleaning this data. It's just, it's not worth it anymore. It's not worth my sanity. And I think a lot of people on the outside looking in or who are trying to become a data analyst think, a lot of the job is creating visualizations, it's creating dashboards, it's really interesting. And, and, you know, that is a part of the job. I would say about 10% of it. But you have to have clean data to do those visualizations. And sometimes you get the messiest, worst data sets you've ever seen. And it is just, it's, it's terrible. It's very tough. And that is something that I genuinely hate. Now we're going from dislike to hate because I reach a threshold where it's not even a dislike. It's like, I just hate doing this. And so, again, it's a very fine line between I love this and I hate this. And, and there is a point. And if you are a data analyst out there who cleans data, I hope I'm not the only one who feels that way. Uh, I hope you can understand where I'm coming from when I say that. Number three is people who are always asking for revisions on work. Now, look, maybe I made a mistake or I made a spelling error or I I change something in the dashboard that I shouldn't have, and I need to fix it. That's on me, and i that's my fault. I genuinely apologize. That's not what frustrates me. That's not what I absolutely hate. What I absolutely hate are the people who come to you and they say, oh, let's just start working on this. 
right? Let's just start. Um, let's just start with what we have, and we can always change it later. That to me is one of the worst things you can do, and it happens all the time. They'll come to you, and they have this some somewhat idea, this semblance of an idea, and they say, "Well, let's just go with what we have now, and then if we need to, we can fix it later." And ten times out of ten, you have to fix it later because they didn't wait or they decided to go too quickly. We didn't have all the data. And then you have to completely redo everything. And it's like this never ending project where the scope of the actual work just keeps expanding and changing in different data sets and different visualizations and all these things. It's like it is a never ending project because they have no idea what they actually want or need. And they're just kind of throwing things that they have at you now with absolutely no forethought into the fact that you were going to have to do 10 times the amount of work because they did not plan ahead or have what they needed when they came to you. All right, I'm getting heated. I'm going to try to calm down for this next one. Again, I don't talk about things I hate that much. Um, and I genuinely, it, it is like raising my heart rate to talk about these things, but I'm going to try to keep going for the sake of the video. Number four, the very last one, the one that I hate more than anything else we've discussed today. This is one that makes my blood boil when I really think about it. And in the moment, it absolutely does. It's when somebody asks for a project and it takes a month, two months to complete. And there is a sense of urgency behind it. They're asking you like updates. When is it going to be finished? When is it going to be done? Hey, have you finished this part? And you do that extra work. You go above and beyond. And you get it done quicker than you probably could have or should have given that you thought this was, you know, an important project. And then nobody, and I mean nobody, uses it, looks at it, or touches it in any way. That to me is probably one of the biggest things that I hate about being a data analyst. Because sometimes the work you do will just never, ever be looked at. And genuinely, it is made to seem like is very important for that client, stakeholder, whomever. And then you work on it and you finish it and you feel really good about it. You're like, man, this is a three month project. I finished it in two months. I'm happy about this. I'm happy how it looks. The, the client is happy and they're like, all right, we've signed off. The project's done. Wonderful. You close it out. Then like a month later, you go and check it and nobody's looked at it. And you're like, oh, okay, <laughs> you know. Okay, maybe they just, you know, they don't need it yet. They need it next month. You check it two months later. They still haven't looked at it. And then I'm like, oh, let me email them. Hey, do you have access to this? Yeah, I have access. It's, it, you know, I just haven't needed it right now. You know, I'll check on it next chance I get. I, I'll check on that like three, six months later. And I can see, I can tell if people are using at it, looking at it, the click-through rates, how long people are spending on it. I have all the analytics for it. And I'm telling you, there is nothing more frustrating than spending months on a project and working really hard to clean the data, get things done, and they are pushing you, they're rushing you, and they don't use it. There, there is nothing worse. It is so frustrating. It, it is genuinely one of the things that I would say that I hate about being a data analyst. And this happens in other careers. I understand that. This happens in other jobs. I get that. But for me personally, that is just, it is, it gets me every time. It gets me every time. And I don't tell people, I'm not going to get mad at them. I'll do the next project for them. I, I understand how this line of work works. Right? I, I get it. But on, on the inside, I am just like, I'm, I'm done. Like, that's it. Like, I, I hate this. That was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. All right, that's an exaggeration, but you get the point. So that's my list. All right, it's only four things. And I, I think you can understand where I'm coming from with most of them. I don't think they're so outlandish and so like, Alex, how could you feel that way? I think they're pretty understandable, right? And like I said, do not take this out of context. Do not say Alex hates analytics. Alex does not like being a data analyst. That is not true. I would say 98% of the time, 95 to 98, depending on the week, I love being a data analyst. I truly do. I love the work. I like the people. I like just the the tech that I get to work with and learn and, and improve on. I love all of those things. But these things specifically are things that I truly, truly hate. So thank you for hearing what I had to say. I know at some point that may have sounded more like a rant, 
but I tried to keep it as concise as I could. I didn't want to ramble on too much, but I genuinely just get very frustrated even talking about it because it, it just hits it hits this like nerve in the back of my head that it, I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. But I appreciate you listening. I appreciate you joining me. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. Check out all my other videos. They're pretty good. I will see you in the next one.